Hi and welcome to this YouTube episode where I'm going to show you how you can quickly turn two listings into eight using Crosslist. Now this is a piece of software that I have invested in. I don't have a physical space in which to sell so I decided instead rather than renting a booth or renting a space at the moment in this business that I would invest about £24 a month into this piece of software and it enables me to massively expand my online offerings. So I can post to eBay, Vinted, Depop, Facebook and Etsy all from this particular package. Today, I'm just showing you how I have posted two listings in eBay, which is how I do my listings. I go into eBay first, and then I pull everything into Crosslist and send it out to the other platforms. So two listings in eBay pushed out to Facebook, Depop, and Vinted, so turning two into eight in about five minutes. So it helps me to really mass scale my business and get listings out quickly across all of the different platforms. I hope that you enjoy it. Do let me know if you've got any comments. Okay, so let's get straight to it. And here you can see my cross list with all of my listings that I've imported in from eBay. So you can see in the column here that says origin that every listing I've done has been done in eBay first because I just enjoy using the eBay app. I like the sell similar function. I sell quite a lot of sort of similar products and I can repeat the listings. And then here you can see the items that have been pushed onto other platforms. So you've got Depop, eBay, Facebook, Vinted for all of these items that have gone across other platforms. There, the little copper tray is only on Depop at the moment. I've actually hidden that, decided to keep that for myself for now, so I've taken it down. This one is sold. And these other items down here, you can see just this one is also on Etsy because I am doing some kind of specialist experimenting on Etsy that I will share with you in another video. So back up to the top, there are five brass listings here that have come from eBay. And they're still obviously just listed on eBay. And I want to push them out now to the other platforms. It's really simple. I'm just going to select one item now just to show you. So this is the little brass bunnies. Perfect for Easter. And you can see clicking into that, it's been imported on the 3rd of April from eBay. I can click there to delist it from eBay if I want to. All my accounts are hooked up to Crosslist. And all my pictures are here. You can play around with the photos and remove the backgrounds. There's all kinds of other things you can do in Crosslist that I can show you another time. But for today, I'm just showing you how to post. You've got AI stuff. You've got other actions here. But we're going to look at just pushing these across to other platforms. Now, here's my title that came from eBay. eBay only has 80 characters. The other platforms allow a few more. So I'm just going to add in an extra word there. Easter, a little keyword for the Easter bunny and change the other word here, bunny, to bunnies. So I've got both of those words in my title. Scrolling down, you have other settings that you can check and add things to, but that really changes once you select the platforms that you want to share with. So I want this to go to Depop, Facebook, and Vinted. Etsy, I will do as a separate listing, and I'm going to show you that another day. But first of all, I just want to say as well, you need to have your vintage shop open at the top. They just seem to like it better, otherwise it can often not go through straight away. When you click post, you just have a couple more pop-up boxes that appear. You've got to select the colour. Here, we're going for gold and the condition, which is good. So that is it, really. Everything else is fine. You click post and it literally just sends them straight through. So it took me maybe... Five minutes to list this on eBay, a couple of minutes to pull it into Crosslist, and then you can see now how quick it is to go into the other platforms. Now, I'm going to go into Vinted. It's the only one that I go into after using Crosslist because, unfortunately, it doesn't pull through perfectly. But if you do this as a matter of routine, each time you post, you just click into Vinted. It never picks up the category. So I just do a quick change there change it to the correct category, and it rarely picks up the brand. This doesn't have a brand. I just select unique vintage. It gives me two nice keywords there as well. And I select the material 
metal. The other thing it does, it usually defaults to medium postage. So click to small for this because it's a small item and say that is it. You can see there it is on my vintage and it has posted through to Facebook and posted through to Depop. There it is on Facebook. You don't need to make any changes on Facebook. It picks everything up really well. And there it is on Depop. You can do a quick edit, a little edit here. Just check things through. It's fine, but you can quickly just add in a few extra bits and pieces if you want to on Depop. But the whole process here, I don't know, we're at four minutes roughly on this video, if that. And I've done all those three platforms okay it would send to etsy as well but i'm going to show you etsy separately and you can see now it's showing up as being posted on those four platforms so i feel that i can do a listing across four platforms in 10 minutes really easily I'll just show you again this is a little brass horse i'm going to select depop facebook and vinted it's going to ask me for the color and that's it you click post and it starts to upload it's gone straight through to vintage so check the vintage listing it's really quick the habit once you get going on this sorry i did not mean to select a reserve i want to select edit listing and i'm just going to change here because it always does it pushes to kids items for some reason so that is a little bit annoying it takes two minutes just to kind of whip this up into an efficient listing and so yeah if i have maybe 10 listings on ebay which might take me maybe an hour to do 10 listings on ebay i can have all of these across the other three platforms in no time at all it's literally a few clicks and there you have you see the bunnies and the pony on vinted on depop on facebook and we're six minutes into this video so it's definitely worth investing in some kind of cross-listing software. Again, you can see here, I'm just going to Depop, have a little check. You don't have to do all this. You can go back in your own time in the app, have a play around. You should be tweaking and checking your listings regularly anyway. So it's not a bad thing to have to do here. I'm going to also select Western because it's a pony, maybe Boho. Now you've got other keywords in Depop if you want to. I haven't actually done very well at all selling on Depop yet. So I'm going to keep going with it because I can push out my stuff to it for free using Crosslist. But there's no point not posting there when you can. But no, it's not been a great platform for me yet. But here you have it. Everything's in Crosslist, all nice and neat and tidy. It's showing up now, the pony there listed on everything. I can just click back. I'll do the others later. But I can click back to my main inventory and everything is there i hope you found that useful any questions just ask i hope you found that useful thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and you'll find in the description of this video a link to sign up to crosslist with a 30 percent off discount for your first month you can ask me any questions at any time it does take a little bit getting used to but hopefully this series of videos is going to really help you and you can definitely get in touch and let me know if you've got anything at all that you're not sure about have a good day